Hey, welcome back to another episode of Quick Tips. I'm Probably Awake, and in today we're gonna to go through how you can use a sampler and get different effects out of it. <laughs> So if we hop into Ableton here, all I did here was what I did. <laughs> so within Ableton, I just loaded up a sampler and what I did was I imported a pad that has a lot of different things going on in it. And if I play the sample back, it just sounds like this. So super, super simple. But what we can do here, in order to have the sound a little bit different if we wanted to cue it and use it for different notes, what we could do is we could actually hop into this MIDI section here, go to velocity, and then use a sample offset here and then put it to 100. And basically, velocity is always tied to the volume of the sound. So the lower the velocity, the lower the sound is gonna be, or the more quiet it's gonna be, and then naturally, the higher the velocity, the louder the sound will be. However, if we change this to use a sample offset instead, what it's gonna do is based on the velocity, we're gonna be able to pull a different part of the sample and get different results. So for example, what I did here was I just dragged in a couple E notes here, and you can see down here in my velocities, I changed these pretty dramatically in between, that way we're getting a different part of the sample pulled when the note plays. And that's what this sounds like. And now you can tell in between different notes, because we're using that velocity to our advantage in that way, we're getting different results every time the note plays. Now you can imagine this would be a lot more hectic if you had a loop or something that you were triggering, but that's a really cool way to get different melody ideas, especially if you want different variations while you're using a loop. So with all this being said, thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next episode. Two, two, three, like this.